Here's the answer to a question that you guys have asked me several times when we were talking about and still are talking about Interstellar Object 3i Atlas. And it's an interesting question. So there is no shortage of complicated questions to ask about the universe. But sometimes the back to basic questions are the ones that many, many people are interested in and that haven't been answered uh, often enough. So the question is, if there is no oxygen in space, how is the sun on fire? Interesting question, right? Fire needs oxygen. Let's look into this, guys, and do me a favor. If you like what I'm doing, give this channel right now an early like and a hype. Doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel. Thank you so much. So our sun, is it on fire? Why is there no oxygen or is there? What's the connection? It's a good question, but it starts with the wrong assumption. Let's clear that up, guys. You're about to understand it in a simple way, I promise. Um, some people think the sun is like a huge fire, um, like a bonfire or a stove. It's just a hot ball. Um, and they think that it needs oxygen to burn, right? Um, if it's a bonfire or something like that. Uh, that's the common idea that we have on Earth. But actually, guys, that is not how the sun works. So let's start with the first point. What does fire need on Earth? Fire is a basic chemical reaction. Wood burns, gasoline burns, candles burn, all need oxygen from the air. We know that if a house is on fire and the fire is in one room and you open the door to that room, oof, that fire spreads very, very fast. So on Earth, you need three things to start a fire or for a fire. You need fuel, you need heat, and you need oxygen for sure. Without oxygen, no fire. Um, space has almost no oxygen. So definitely the sun can't be burning like wood, right? Well, let's... Before we answer that, let's get to the second point. Is there any oxygen in space? So there is a teeny tiny bit of oxygen out there. Yes, the scientists have found trace oxygen in some nebula clouds, but it's very, very rare. Um, nothing like the Earth's atmosphere. And it's not what makes the sun shine, obviously. So the third point that we need to discuss, guys, the sun is not on fire. This is the key. The sun is not on fire. It only looks like this. So the whole question, how is it on fire when there's no oxygen, is a bit of the wrong question. So the sun doesn't burn with flames. Um, it produces energy in another way. And now I know you have the question, how does the sun make this energy? So deep, in sun, deep inside the core of the sun, things are very extreme in there. The pressure is enormous. The temperature is about 15 million degrees Celsius. And at those conditions, atoms behave very, very differently. And hydrogen atoms, they fuse Together, they combine into a helium. And this is called a nuclear fusion. And fusion releases huge amounts of energy. That energy, guys, becomes the sun's heat and light, not oxygen burning. So think of it as not burning but more like atoms sticking together and then giving off the energy. That's the real power source of our sun. And why does this fusion work? Well, on Earth, we think of burning wood of gas. That's chemistry with oxygen. The process that is happening with the sun is different. It's physics, not chemistry. That's the difference. So fusion doesn't need oxygen at all. It needs pressure and it needs heat um, in order to be able to push the atoms together. So gravity inside the sun um, is squeezing 
everything. That is the crushing force that creates this fusion. And the temperature of the sun sounds really unbelievable, but the numbers here matter. At the surface, the sun is about five and a half thousand degrees Celsius hot, hot enough to vaporize anything instantly. But deep in the core where the fusion happens, it's around 15 million degrees, 15 million degrees. And now here's the surprising part on earth. Can we replicate that? Can we create our own sun energy uh, machine and not the energy from the sun? Can we recreate this on earth? Um, yes and no, rather no. Um, because on earth, the reactors that we create must be even hotter than the sun, not twice as hot, 10 times hotter than the sun. So inside experimental fusion reactors, the temperatures reach roughly 100 to 150 million degrees Celsius. Why? Because the sun uses gravity to squeeze the atoms together. We don't have that pressure. We don't. And so we replace it with heat, we have to. And at those temperatures, matter no longer exists as gas or, or solid. It becomes plasma, a glowing charged, basically a soup of particles. Nothing can touch it, no container can hold it, obviously, right? So that's why fusion reactors use magnetic fields to keep the plasma floating in some way, never ever touching the walls. So yes, fusion on Earth is possible, but it means controlling, no, it means building and controlling something hotter than the heart of a star, than the heart of the sun. And then you might ask, well, okay, but why do we feel the sunlight as heat? We feel the heat. Well, space is, is nearly a vacuum and there's almost nothing that can carry heat. So the sun isn't sending like heat energy through space. It sends radiation, light, infrared and other waves. And then when that radiation hits our earth, it warms the air, the ground, and us. That's why we feel heat. I hope you like that, guys. If this was new to you, shared with someone who thinks the sun is on fire, um, because science doesn't always match what we imagine. And hit the like and subscribe button again if you liked it. Well, not again, because then you unlike it, but hit it and share it and click what's going on here in the end screen. Interesting stuff with Interstellar Visitor 3i Atlas, but also the space doomsday clock crashed back to 2.8 days. That is crazy because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, and that could be today. Really guys, check that video out. Very, very interesting because we might lock ourselves out from access to space for centuries. And I mean, no more GPS, no more satellites, no more internet, no more Starlink, space internet. Interesting topic here in the end screen. See you guys. Bye-bye.